let's head into our first main topic on the show tonight about foreign interference and the conservative party they are claiming that in 13 ridings they have found um election interference including the use of suspicious mail-in ballots so i have a little extra here to catch you guys up then we'll dive into the analysis on this in just a second here Conservatives believe 13 ridings were targeted by foreign interference in 2021 election. The Conservative Party has identified 13 federal ridings where they suspect their candidates were targeted by foreign influence campaigns in the recent federal election, Global News has learned. The party was briefed by Canada's two main intelligence agencies about potential foreign interventions against their candidates during the election, two party sources told Global News. There is no smoking gun, but a senior party source, an independent disinformation researcher, uh, suspect that the conservative stance on China's communist regime made them a target. Good, good. I hope that Xi Jinping targets Aaron O'Toole. That's a good thing. That's a fantastic thing. It certainly, it certainly looks like there was some kind of orchestrated campaign by some entity that was probably not a Canadian political party, said the source. We've identified as many as 13 seats where something happened in. Most of them were in, were most of them we were competitive in, but not all of them. There's suspicion of potential mail-in ballot fraud, and we've heard cases of potential foreign government paid campaign workers who are now getting bro brown envelopes of cash to do stuff for other campaigns. We've heard of illegal advertising too. The source said the party was also blasting out messaging on WeChat a Chinese language social media platform and found that its content was quickly removed. In a statement, CISA said that the intelligence community did not detect foreign interference threats that rose to the level of jeopardizing Canada's ability to hold a free and fair election or that warranted warning the public. And, you know, whether you believe that there's something to this or not you know i think it's very obvious at this point that in any western what am i getting all these messages for bruh okay it's not and nothing burger okay i have to go through all my notifications and turn off all the useless ones because i swear every time during the show recently i get all these notifications rolling in and then, it, then it just distracts me. But wh whatever you believe, if you think that you know China had this secret plan to like screw over Aaron O'Toole, or if you think that it might have been some various Chinese businesses that were interested in doing so, some various lobbying groups, right? Whatever you think it was, undoubtedly, in every single Western country. There's meddling in every single election. This happens in every single election. It happens in Poland, happens in France, happens in the UK. Of course, it happens in the USA. And it happens up here in Canada as well. And it's simply just going to get more and more prominent as democracy continues to fail. As democracy continues to simply be a source of discontent with the voting population, right? If you look at the average voter at this point, the average Canadian voter specifically, we had a 59% turnout rate. 59, only 59% of the Canadian population voted in this most recent Canadian election. Only 59%. And out of that 59%, the vast majority, around 95% of that 59%, voted for a globalist party. Voted for globalism and during this past election and even going back to the 2019 election if you take a look at especially people our age what they're voting for they're voting for jagmeet singh why because he's brown or they're voting for justin trudeau you know why because like the girls think he's hot or something like that it's retarded it's absolutely retarded what the average voter votes for up here in Canada at this point in time. So if there's going to be election interference, if this is just something that is going to be a constant in our so-called democracy at this point, 
there's really no true way, especially with the internet, right? If there's no real way to get rid of foreign interference and foreign advertising and foreign lobbying, why not use some of this to our advantage? You know? You feel me on that? You know, I don't have an issue. Hey, if, if a Russian troll bot farm wants to boost Canada first and wants to gain us some clout, why, why would we not accept that? Why would we not accept Vladimir Putin's help in winning an election? It's quite clear that Justin Trudeau calls on his buddies and, you know, everybody that he's bought off within media to help him win elections. It's quite clear that, you know, Aaron O'Toole will call on the Jews and Israelis and stuff like this to try and help him win a election, right? So who are our allies? Who are our allies going to be to help us win a election? Quite frankly, I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care if it's the Russians. I don't care if it's the Chinese. You know, I would prefer if it was Donald Trump. Hey, if Trump wants to say, hey, you know, Canada first, Maxine Bernie, the PPC, I endorse those guys. You know, hey, if he wants to help us out, that'd be great. Kind of like what Barack Obama does for Justin Trudeau. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton both endorsed Justin, Justin Trudeau back in 2019 and in this recent election. And they put out tweets and they blast out advertisements and they endorse them right? Bernie Sanders endorsed Jaime Singh, the literal terrorist leader in this country. Jaime Singh was playing Among Us with AOC and like Hassan Piker. So Americans are influencing our elections as well. And of course, you know, there is a difference when it comes to mail-in ballots and, you know, something like Facebook advertising and sharing various information around with a target audience, with a target demographic, with the goal of persuading them to vote for a certain party, right? Of course, that there's going to be a difference there. But then again, if we had mail-in ballots, why not use them? If Russia wants to send us a bunch of free mail-in ballots to rig the election in our favor, why wouldn't we rig the election at this point? These globalists are doing everything in their power to rig the game against us, we're like in triple overtime right now. Our country's about to go down into the tubes forever. We're almost at the point in which we can't recover it. Yeah, we need all the help that we can get. And I don't care about it being fair. I don't care about a true democracy. One person, one vote. Fuck one person and fuck one vote, okay? I don't care. Quite frankly, democracy sucks. It's gay. It's pointless. It's useless. Why should these retarded leftists have the same amount of voting power as somebody like me? Or somebody like you guys, right? Why should that be a thing? What? Why should these votes that go to Jamie Singh simply because he's brown and wears a turban? Or simply because, you know, some like 18-year-old art hose friend some like tranny freak and told all her friends to vote for Jagmeet. Why should these votes equal the real Canadians' votes, right? We have un-Canadian people voting. We have un-Canadian people participating within politics, and that has to end. Politics should only be for the real Canadian people, for people that are serious, for nationalists, for right-wingers. And sure, you know, you can have a little bit of debate within the right wing. You can, have, you, you can debate some topics. But some things simply have to be constant. Some things have to be concrete within this nation, right? And the only way to get that is having a concrete leader that cannot be usurped by the very uneducated and very idiotic mass.